everyone, it's Froggy, and I'm back again with another episode of Backstage Pass, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start by planning out my week. So let's go do tutoring. Tutoring will make my grade go up faster, and then we're going to blog. I'm gonna try and blog every Tuesday, just so I know what I'm doing. Uh, we're gonna exercise Wednesday morning, and we are going to work then. Yes. We're going to review the basics of geometric proofs today. Professor Meridia scrawls a series of shapes and angles across the chalkboard. This may be review for some of you. If you feel confident in this section, feel free to skip the next few sessions. Just don't forget to turn in your homework. Wow, a professor just gave us free reign to skip class. This will take some getting used to. If I skip lecture now, I could get some rest in before I have to do anything later today. But I might learn something if I stay, and I'll definitely win bonus points with Professor Meridia. What should I do? Uh, we're gonna stay for the lecture. I'll stay. It couldn't hurt to review after all. I make my way into the library. There aren't many other people here. The TA approaches me. I don't recognize you. Is this your first time here? Hello. Yes. I really want to make sure I keep my grades up. Well, coming to these sessions won't improve your grades per se. Coming here merely helps you review the material you learned during lecture. We'll also discuss study techniques to help you retain more knowledge and learn more efficiently. In other words, these sessions will better equip you to learn faster when you attend lecture or do your homework. But they have no direct bearing on your knowledge or your grades. Got it. By the way, my name's Alvin, and I'll be running all the tutoring sessions this year. If you have any questions, just raise your hand and I'll get to you as soon as possible. Thanks. Alvin splits his time between the students pretty evenly. And by the time the hour is over, I feel more confident about my studies. Adam has a photo shoot scheduled for today, and John wants us to be ready by 3. It's already 2.30 and Adam hasn't come by. I grab my makeup bag and drag it down the hall to his room. Adam, are you ready? Ready for what? We need to leave for the photo shoot. Oh, that? It's not for half an hour. Are you kidding? It'll probably take us that long just to get there. Adam rolls his eyes with an exaggerated sigh. Okay, okay, we'll go now. I walk down the hallway as quickly as I can manage, but Adam doesn't seem to be following me. I stop and turn. Is something wrong? You walk too fast, okay? If I'm walking too fast, it's because I'm in a hurry. We'll get there when we get there. I sigh and wait for Adam. There's no use in hurrying him anywhere. His laid-back attitude is usually pretty refreshing, but right now I'm feeling more stressed than anything. The drive to the studio is uneventful, but it's already 2.55 when we arrive. John rushes out to meet us as soon as we step into the studio. There you are. What kept you? We're not late yet. John's expression tightens. Ready by three doesn't mean arrive at three. Studio time is expensive, and the photographer is a busy man with a tight schedule. John sighs and adjusts his hat. The lecture will have to wait. Don't dally now. Adam and I hurry to the makeup station, and I begin working. Why is he so uptight about this? Probably because it's his job. He needs to relax. We got here on time, didn't we? Nothing bad's gonna happen. How should I respond? Lecture him sternly, tease him about being late all the time, shrug it off. Ooh, choices. Let's tease him. Maybe not, but if you keep this up, you'll give John an ulcer. He's not used to working on island time, you know? I don't see why. He's from an island too, isn't he? <laughs> I'm not sure Britain and Hawaii count as the same thing. Either way, it would probably be best if you tried to arrive at least a little early to things like this. For John's sake. 
Adam sighs and nods grudgingly. Fine, for John's sake. He stands and stretches. Let's not keep John and Mr. Photographer waiting any longer, yeah? We walk to the main area and greet the photographer. Good of you to join us. Finally, I thought you'd be a no-show. Oi, I'm here already. Yelling isn't going to get me here any sooner. I'm afraid you're definitely late. John casts a sidelong glance at me. You weren't distracted by anything, were you? Really? Screw you, man! I tighten my jaw, but decide not to take his baited words. Got a little caught up in a game I was playing. Sean had to remind me it was time to go. She did? I hide the smirk on my face. You didn't assume anything else, did you? Not really. John responds placidly, but he avoids making eye contact with me. Ha! Take that! That's enough socializing, kids. Palm tree, go stand over there. The photographer points at a white backdrop lit by a row of angled bright lights. Palm tree? You mean... me? You're a tall, skinny thing with a bunch of leaves sticking out the top. Of course I mean you. Adam makes a face, but he complies with the photographer's instructions. As he poses for the camera, his expression takes on a tight, unnatural look. Is he nervous? His whole body looks really stiff. The photographer sighs. Come on, palm tree. Where's that island charm I keep hearing about? Loosen up. I'm trying. Well, trying sure isn't getting you anywhere. I thought Hawaii was all about relaxing. And I thought being in the big city was all pollution and car accidents. Now that's just a lie. Although we do like to go out and mug each other just for fun. <laughs> Too bad. We don't invite muggers to all the volcano luau's we have every day. As Adam and the photographer snipe at each other with mock insults, Adam's posture relaxes, and he's soon back to his cheerful self. John chuckles. Dale knows how to get a good shot in, photography-wise and other. Dale snaps one shot after another, timing each click with Adam's movements. Occasionally, he asks for a specific pose, but most of the time he simply engages Adam in lighthearted banter. All right, take a break, get a drink, or do some stretches. Or something. Sure thing. Be back in a few. As Adam strolls off, Dale lets out a long and mournful sigh. Poor kid. This industry's going to eat him alive. He'll learn. We all started out like that. He's got a stubborn streak, John. He'd rather fight back than play the game. Game? Dale and John turned to me, surprised. I think they forgot I was here. Dale smiles apologetically. Being in the entertainment industry is cutthroat. Your brother's a little too laid back to keep up an ongoing career. Oh, we're not related. I'm his makeup artist. Really? Dale immediately turns to his camera and reviews the photos he just took. Finally, he lets out a low whistle. You're good. Where'd you study? Um, nowhere really. My mom is a professional makeup artist, and she trained me from childhood. Well, you've got the hand of a seasoned pro. I'm impressed. Thank you. It's very kind of you to say that. Hey, are you free next Tuesday? I've got a shoot in the morning that needs an artist. Oh, um, I guess I can make it, but surely you can hire someone else. Sean, it's not good form to suggest someone else for a job you can do. But why me? I like your work, and you're not a terrible person. He rolls his eyes. And considering the job, I'll need someone I don't hate. That's not a very encouraging thing to hear. It's only half a joke. I'd love to have you on board. I think your style is just what I need for next week's shoot. Should I accept? Ooh. Yes. I'm gonna accept the job. Well, if you really like my work, I'd be happy to come next week. That's great. I'll send you the details later. All right, palm tree. Break's over. Adam jogs back to the photo area, looking a lot less uptight than he did earlier. Dale immediately revives his snappy banter with Adam, taking photos at opportune moments in their discussion. The second half of the session passes even more smoothly than the first. Dale's already built up a good rapport with Adam in such a small amount of time. 
I've seen photographers at work before, but no one is fast moving or easy to get along with as Dale. It's making me a little nervous about the job next Wednesday. If there's someone out there who can't get along with Dale, I'm a little apprehensive. Well, it's too late to back out now. I just hope it works out. I head out for another jog around campus. Thankfully, the weather is still warm. As I near the library, I see someone familiar sitting on the bench. Oh, hey, you're that guy who runs the freshman tutoring on Mondays, um... Alvin, and you're Sean, right? That's right. You remember me? Our last parting was fairly recent, and I do try to remember the names of all my students. What are you reading? Alvin looks down at the book in his hands. Um, it's a book of recreational math. He laughs and looks at the ground. I guess I'm kind of a nerd. Nothing wrong with that. And what are you up to? Just exercising. Gotta stay healthy. Good for you. Keeping all the senses sharp. That's the idea. I won't keep you. See you around. Fare thee well. I like him so much. He's so cute. Right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos from me, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.